I signed up for this five day challenge on course creation with this woman named Grace Lever. I've never heard about her before a couple days ago when I signed up for this course that started yesterday, but I just did the first task this morning. And in the first live video, she's talking about this um, financial freedom metric, right? What is the amount of money you need to make per month in order for you to quit your job and, and be financially free? And she basically says, if your number is anything below 20,000, it needs to be 20,000 at least. And then she goes on to talk about even when you make that 20, when you make $20,000 per month, then you up it to 50,000, then you up it to 100,000, then you're making a million dollars a year. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. That sounds like an addiction. You're not happy where you are. You need 20,000. And yeah, that can set you financially free for sure. But to say that's the minimum, and then to say that it has to keep increasing and increasing, that is the definition of an addiction. And it is playing out in society like we are addicts and is costing all of us, our planet, our health, our happiness. Because happiness is not achieved at a higher and higher amount. Because any money you achieve, even if you don't know this consciously, you know it subconsciously, it costs the rest of the world. You understand that there's no amount of money you can have, no bunker strong enough. If our planet is failing and people are starving, they, you are not safe and secure. You can't be. There's no amount of money that will make you safe and secure. Therefore, there's no amount of money that can get you freedom. There's no out external metric that can give you true freedom. It has to be, hey, how can I be happy where I am? How can I live a more abundant life while living my purpose in the world? Why are we looking to the people with the biggest addiction to teach us how to also have the addiction? And I get what they're saying. Like, I understand economics. I understand that if you're making 20000 and you don't increase the price of your course and now you're making 50000 that means you've touched more people's lives. You've had more of an impact. But that's not how they're selling it, right? It's how much money do you need to make? And then just keep increasing it and increasing that. If I said that about absolutely anything else, you would hear it as an addiction. I really want a cat. Okay, I have a cat. I just need two now. I just need an extra cat. Okay, just one more cat. One more cat. And pretty soon I'm the crazy cat lady. If I need a certain amount of caffeine to get going in my day, and it's one cup of coffee, and then in a few months it's two cups, and then three cups, and then four cups, you hear that as an addiction. So why, when we talk about it with money, do we think of it as, a, as something that is um, <laughs> a goal we want to live up to? I want to be like her. I also want to need more and more and more to succeed. If COVID-19 teaches us nothing else, please let it teach us that we are connected. We are one. We don't need to kumbaya be one. We are already one. Our decisions, what we do impacts everybody else on this planet and everything they do impacts us. We can solve problems and we can create true abundance by figuring out how to live a good life at let's say $10,000 a month and then figure out how to live a better and better life for less and less money. Because when we figure that out, everybody unlocks that abundance, not just the person who's able to earn from 10,000 to 20,000 to 50,000. I am sure I will be on for the rest of the week being triggered by the capitalist <laughs> course that I am in, but that is today's learning. Why is money the socially acceptable addiction? Are there other ones? I, mean, I know power is also kind of one that we somewhat are acceptable by. It's like, oh, I have 50 employees. I have 100 people telling me what to do. I have more people following me. But what other addictions am I not seeing that uh, maybe I'm addicted to that I can't see? Because those are the ones <laughs> I know I'm addicted to doing good in this world. And I'm okay with that. I also know I have actual addictions, pot and media, that I am in more control of than most of the capitalists. <laughs> And I can see what they're giving and taking from my life. And I'm figuring out how to have them have less and less impact. I'm not figuring out how to like have more and more of them in my life. <laughs> oh, what am I not seeing? What am I addicted to? And um, what are you addicted to? Are you looking for more and more money? Are you looking for more and more power? Or can you be happy with your current level? And then figure out how to be happier and happier at this level. I invite you to look at who you prop up in society. Who do you look up to? Why are you looking up to them? What are the actual qualities they possess that you want? Because you probably already have them. That's why you're looking up to them. 
If you're not already, please subscribe, please like this video, and I'll see you next time.